Hello, I'm Scott Gregg with Harry Eckloff and Associates. I'm doing a little Navian retrofit back in my own house in the basement. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys how to do a natural gas to propane gas conversion in a Navian NPE 240A2. All the NPE A2s come set up for natural gas. If you're going to put these in an LP or propane fired house, you need to do the conversion on them. And everything you need comes in the box. Hit that subscribe button down there and I'll show you just how easy this is. First thing you want to do is look inside the Navian cabinet and you'll see an envelope with a red tag that is for high altitude conversions and one with a yellow tag that's for propane gas and other high altitude conversions for propane gas use only. Inside we have an orifice plate, a new packing, a couple of extra screws in there, and another spare o-ring which we're not going to need for this conversion. Now one thing I know if you're watching this video to learn how to convert a Navian NPE A2 from natural gas to propane, I know you haven't opened up the owner's manual. Look in the installation manual, look down at the table of contents to propane conversion, go to that page and follow along. You're going to need that manual to set these heaters up and make sure you've done the installation properly anyway. 90% of the calls we get for trouble with Navian tankless water heaters are guys that won't read the instruction manual, won't come to a training class and put them in incorrectly. So let's get started with this conversion. This is the dual venturi up here and this is where the orifice plate is located. We have to remove these four screws and then we have to remove these two screws down here at the gas valve. Now with both of these units converted, as soon as we power everything up, we're going to go into the startup wizard. The last thing you have to do for your conversion is tell it which fuel you're running on. And I like to put the packing back in the envelope with the other spare parts, put them back in this other larger envelope, and then put it back inside the heater. That way all the spare parts are always with the heater, and of course anybody who works on it will know that it's been properly converted. Notice there's also instructions in the conversion kit. Now, I know all you guys have these impact screwdrivers. Leave them in the truck. No power tool should ever be inside of anybody's tankless water heater. You're dealing with stainless steel and cast aluminum parts, and you will strip these screws with those power tools. Don't use them. Hand tools only inside the unit. So we're going to take these two screws here loose first. A uh, magnetized long screwdriver is very helpful. And these four up here at the Venturi. Now they're a little snug. They don't have to be that tight when you go back in. But definitely have a good number two Phillips screwdriver to do this work. And a magnetizer doesn't hurt either. There we are. Just set that in a safe place. This is the orifice plate we need to change. It's stamped natural gas, NG, right there. One of our favorite things to hear is, yeah, I converted it when it's making all kinds of noise. We go out to the job and find out it's still got the natural gas orifice in it. So these are tiny little screws here. I'm just going to take those out. And that's why you want a magnetic screwdriver. Now this orifice plate is going to come right out of there. Like that. Notice the packing stayed in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put the new packing in. I'll save this just in case. But since that was installed, I want to make sure I got a nice brand new packing in there. So put our new packing in, making sure it goes in there correctly. Like that. The orifice plate won't go in wrong. It has a notch on one side. So it's only going to go in one way that in there see how that fits and then the brain surgery of getting these teeny tiny screws back in there carefully without cross threading them and these do not take a lot of torque you're just going to snug these up do not put any of these screws in form or tight or you are going to be sorry you're going to strip something out you can't fix that you'd have to replace the entire dual venturi if you strip out one of those screws so that's it for the orifice plate now we just got to put the riser back on And do yourself a favor, just get them started. Then you can snug them all down at one time. These two on the gas valve, make sure that that O-ring's in place correctly and you have this lined up. And put those two screws back in. And again, you're just snugging these up. Not a lot of torque on these things. Just snug them up. There we are. Now we'll snug these up up top. There 
And no, it's not an engine. You don't have to torque them crisscross. The second step is to locate these two little teeny dip switches, little white dip switches down here at the bottom left of your control panel. The top switch is number one, and we want to switch that to the other position. All right, we're fixing to go through the startup wizard here. Set the time and date first. You always want to set your date and time because that's how your error codes are stored. EPM is correct. Natural gas, got to arrow down to propane. That completes our conversion. Has the gas orifice already been changed? Yes, it has. So just follow the startup wizard. When it gets to fuel type, use the arrow button to arrow down to propane. Hit OK, and that's all you have to do for that part of the conversion. Last step for your conversion is get that little envelope back out. Take out this decal, fill it out, and place it either inside the cover of the water heater or on the outside of the water heater to let a future plumber know that you have converted it correctly, when it was converted, and by who. When you register your warranty for the Navian, you're also going to let them know that you've converted this to LP. It is recommended to check the offset pressure once you've converted it to LP. I will show you how to do that in a video coming up. So make sure you've hit that subscribe button down there. Give it that thumbs up like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.